What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and today we're going to be talking about Project X Cloud from Microsoft. It's basically a streaming service. They announced it at E3 earlier this year that they were going to test the waters with a streaming service. But today they dropped about a four minute trailer explaining what it actually is going to be. Now they didn't go into too much details. They basically gave us a concept trailer of what it's going to be. I don't even think they gave us an official name even though Project Project X Cloud does sound super dope, but I think this is going to be their reveal, kind of like what they did with Project Scorpio Edition. I think Scorpio is definitely was a better name than Xbox One X, but I think Project X Cloud is definitely going to get replaced with maybe Xbox Cloud or Xbox Stream or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Either way, I'm digging it. I think this is pretty cool. If you haven't watched the trailer, I'm going to have it linked in the description below. Check it out. I'm going to have bits of the trailer playing as I do this voiceover or whatever the fuck but it looks pretty dope you could basically stream Xbox one games from the cloud into your smartphone your tablet basically any device that you kind of want it to be streaming from and basically there's an Xbox in a server place whatever playing the game that you wanted to play and I think that's a pretty cool idea It's a pretty cool concept there is a lot of hurdles they have to go over especially with what they were explaining in the video and they do make a great point about you know latency and how they're going to be able to fix stuff like that and they do express that you know they're gamers as well and they want to make sure that they can solve those issues before rolling this out 100 percent and that's why they're working on it to the end of the year in 2019 they're going to roll out a beta at some point when they officially want consumers to jump on they're going to roll it out little by little until they have it fully functionally all over the world but during this trailer they also show actual live gameplay streaming from a what it looks like to be a note 9 or samsung galaxy s9 and then we have a couple of people with their reaction playing it playing games on it we also see games like halo and cuphead sea of thieves being run on a tablet gears of war as well and it does look pretty cool it does look you know good to see these games running on that hardware which is technically not just running on that hardware it's technically running on an xbox up on the cloud and who knows when they shot this they could have shot this in that same area so it was getting directly you know direct feed or it wasn't going through miles and miles away on internet that what we will be experiencing when this eventually rolls out one thing in the, in the video that i gotta commend xbox for is they kind of was saying yeah you know consoles are not gonna leave your living room if you have a console it is gonna be the, the definitive way to play that this is just a, more of an option or even to give people who do not own an Xbox One basically an option to buy the catalog of games. All you would really need is a controller and hell, you don't even need that because you can use your touchscreen interface as a controller, which to me is even doper. To me, what they're doing with this Project X Cloud is going beyond what Nintendo wants to do as far as with the Nintendo Switch and making a console portable. It's going farther than what PlayStation did with the Vita because, you know, they did kill off the Vita prematurely, but also as far as what the Vita wanted to do with PS4 crossplay. And basically, if you have an internet connection, you can play your, your Xbox games pretty much anywhere. And I think that idea is still kind of crazy, especially with not a lot of people having even access to the internet. And I think this is clearly not for you if you do not have access to the internet. But I do think this is for that quote unquote mobile mark. People who haven't touched an Xbox controller ever that don't even know these game series like Halo or Gears of War or even Call of Duty because they haven't made a big splash on the mobile market yet. This is a way to rope those people in to that Xbox ecosystem and guys you know how important ecosystems are because once you're looped in to that you know PS4 ecosystem it's kind of hard to jump out and touch a Microsoft system. It's just kind of hard if you looped in to the Microsoft ecosystem system to want to pick up a ps4 controller even though there is tons of ps4 exclusives
exclusives that are going to be tainting you either way in. And, you know, same thing goes for Nintendo. If you're in that PlayStation ecosystem or that Microsoft ecosystem, and you go to Nintendo, you're like, where's my voice chat? Where's my, you know, games that I get a month? Where's this? Where's that? And this is a way to kind of get and rope everyone in that is mobile gamers into the Xbox marketplace, into the Xbox ecosystem with kind of without them knowing because they're going to, they're gonna like, hey, it's Microsoft. Is it, you know, I use Microsoft Word. I have a Microsoft browser on my phone. I have Microsoft Word on my computer. I use, it's a brand that I use and I know, but I don't know it for gaming. But if it's all connected, then what's the difference? And I think Microsoft kind of knows that. I think the Xbox brand is going to lean on that. And I think the folks behind who's, you know, spearheading Project X Cloud is going to make sure they drive that home. Now, just to kind of wrap this thing up, I am very excited about this because as you guys know, I'm a mobile gamer. I play my Nintendo Switch 100% handheld and I don't really have time to be sitting in front of a TV with my daughter running around, with my wife running around wanting to watch TV as well, to be sitting in front of the TV playing PS4, playing Xbox One. That's why I love my Nintendo Switch and I prefer to get games on my Nintendo Switch when I can. And when I do play my Nintendo Switch, especially like with games like Fortnite, I'm able to dive deeper and play for longer sessions than I would with if I was logged into my PS4. And I think this is gonna make me 100% get games on the Xbox platform if I know if I'm playing on the TV and I get kicked off from my wife or my daughter, whatever the case may be, I could continue my session on my Galaxy S9 and all I have to do is just sync my controller up Bluetooth? What? Are you crazy? Of course I'm doing that. Like, of course I'm playing PUBG on my Galaxy S9 instead of the mobile version on my xbox one from the cloud or whatever the fuck i'm gonna be playing it from i think this is ingenious i think this is perfect i am scared because of the streaming side of it and we have to see how they actually make that work because we've seen stuff like playstation now and it sucks we've seen stuff like capcom what they what they did with the resident evil 7 shit on the nintendo switch where you can play resident evil 7 and stream it we've seen it it sucks so yes they have a lot of hurdles to jump over but i do think think once they roll this out, they're going to roll it out once it's 100% ready. And I think once we do get our hands on it, it's going to be pretty decent. As you guys know, with all my videos, it's a discussion. I answer all comments. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Project X? cloud in the comment section below let me know either way do you think it's gonna work do you think it's gonna be a big failure are you excited to be playing halo on your phone with this service just to think about halo a fully playable halo from the ground up on your phone without the need of an xbox one system turned on or even in your house i think that's incredible and i think alone it's at least worth the try but let me know what you think in the comment section below Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.